Hey guys, Dion from Dion Video Productions here, and today we're going to be looking at exporting in Final Cut Pro version 10.3. In this video, we're going to be looking at exporting to the desktop, to iTunes, and a best quality export. Let's get started. First of all, let's go ahead and export straight to the desktop. Alright, let's say I want to export this project from Final Cut here. We're going to go up to the top right hand corner and under the share menu, select master file. From here, this window will show up. And this will allow us to edit the title, add a description, or tags if we like. And as you can see, this project will now export in its native resolution and frame rate as a QuickTime file. And as you can see, the file size is relatively small. Before we hit next, we're going to take a look at the settings. And the reason for this relatively small file size is because we're exporting as an H.264 file. This is a perfect balance between high quality and smaller file size. Therefore, we'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to go ahead and select next here and make sure the desktop is our destination. Select done and now wait for it to export. And as you can see, once the file is done exporting, we can find it right here on our desktop, saved and ready to be uploaded or shared. So now let's take a look at exporting from Final Cut directly to iTunes. So just like before, we're going to go back to Final Cut here and let's say we want to export that same project. Under the share menu, this time we're going to select either 720p, 1080p or 4K. Seeing as this is a 1080p file, we'll select 1080p. Again, we can change the title or description, and as you can see, it will this time export in 1080p as an Apple MPG4 file with a significantly smaller file size. So why is this? Well, that's because we're exporting to Apple devices instead of computer or web hosting. And as you can see, the file size uh, changes accordingly. But because I want to put this video on my phone, we're going to leave it at Apple devices. Alright, so now that the export has finished here, let's go ahead and see where we find this file. So we're going to open up iTunes, select Films, and then go on to Home Videos. From here, your video should be viewable and playable in iTunes. We can also drag it to the desktop from here, or leave it in iTunes and sync it to our iOS device. And finally, let's take a look at exporting in the best possible quality from Final Cut Pro 10. So again, we're going to go under the Share menu, and this time select Master File. From here, we'll go into settings and change the video codec to Apple ProRes 422. This is a much larger file size, but will give you the best possible quality for your exported project. And those are the three main ways of exporting in Final Cut Pro 10.3. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching.